Hello everyone. Today we shall discuss Andrews six keys of occlusion. These six keys of occlusion were given by Andrews in 1970s after studying 120 study models of patients. And these uh, these different keys of occlusion can be memorized uh, by the help of the mnemonics Mr. Zing in rotation tight and flat. Mr. Zing is a careless doctor who frequently drinks alcohol and he even goes to rotations in even when he is tight. Let's see. Mr. M R. This signifies molar relation. The first key to Andrews occlusion is that the mesiobuccal cusp of the upper first molar should occlude in the group between the mesial and the medial buccal cusp of the lower first molar. And the second key to occlusion is given by Zing. That is, gingival part of the long axis should be distal to the occlusal part. This is the long axis of the tooth and its gingival part should be slightly distal to the occlusal part. That is the second keys of occlusion according to Andrews. And in, that signifies inclination. The crown inclination in the upper anteriors, they are slightly positive, they show slight positive inclination, whereas the lower anteriors, they show negative inclination and all the posteriors, both upper and lower, they show slight negative inclination. And rotation, there should not be any rotation um, present in the teeth. That is the fourth key of occlusion and the fifth is tight. Tight contact should be present between the teeth and flat. The plane of occlusion should be flat. The depth of curve of speech should not be more than 1.5 mm and that these are the six keys of occlusion according to Andrews and here is the mnemonics Mr. Zing in rotation tight and flat. Hope this will help you to memorize all these six keys. Thank you.